Hey there, friends. Today we are continuing our series from Apple Numbers. We're giving super quick tutorials to help your life be a little bit easier. And today I'm just going to show you very quickly how to create borders around cells. Super simple. Let's jump into it right now. Okay, so I am on my Mac laptop. I've opened up a brand new spreadsheet. We've just included a few bits of data, very simple spreadsheet here. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to just create a border around this total row right here. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to the right-hand side and we're gonna click on Format. This is gonna open up a menu for us to choose from. There's actually some sub-menus in here. And so I'm gonna click on Cell. Once you click on cell, you can see down here we have multiple border options. So what we first need to do is we need to highlight the cells that we want to have a border around it. Now we have multiple different options. As you can see, I can click here and all of these cells will then have an individual border. I can click this one over here and that is going to create a border around the entire uh, rows here. Now we do need to also select the number point that we want this border to show up as. As you can see, as I change that, it now becomes visible, this border around this area. So if I want this to be really thick, I can kick this up above one, maybe to two points. There we go, we have a nice border around this area. Now you can also see we can choose from colors. We can actually have some border styles. As you can see down here, you can kind of select from some uh, pre-filled in versions down here. Okay, so let's say you have a box that has been given a border that you don't want anymore. One of the easiest ways to erase that is simply to highlight the box. We can come over here to border styles. I'm gonna drop this menu down. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom and click on no border. As you can see, it's now giving us zero border around the entire thing. Now again, using this feature can actually mess up the way your other boxes look. So again, you may have to kind of come back in and create that border again that you want around the boxes that need it. And that is about it, friends. I hope that has helped. Again, play around with this, figure out what's gonna work best for you. If this has helped, please hit that thumbs up button for us and stay tuned, subscribe, because we've got a bunch more of these little Apple Numbers tutorial videos that are coming out really, really soon. We'll see you again on the next one.